In South Vietnam, the armor soldier and his unit test their metal against many problems of terrain and climate. Much of the interior of the country is rugged, mountainous land, posing difficult problems for armor operations. In areas where maneuver is possible, monsoon rains may turn the ground into rivers of mud, making the going rough for track vehicles. Despite these adverse features of the land, Army planners have discovered that tanks can operate in South Vietnam in about 60% of the country in the dry season, and in about 45% of the land during the wet season. Mechanized equipment such as armored personnel carriers can move effectively in more than 65% of the country the year round. As a result of continuous study and evaluation of land movement problems in this region, a body of doctrines and concepts have been devised for the use of armor in the unconventional warfare situation. In addition to the traditional role of armor as a dominant ground assault force, certain specific missions have been developed for armor units. We're going to be your security for the convoy today. First of all, let me go over the uniform that's to be worn on this convoy. The uniform is a steel pot and a flak jacket, and that's the whole way in the long bend. I don't want anybody with their flak jacket or their steel pot off. Is that understood? Can anybody not hear that? Each vehicle will have a driver and a shotgun. If there's any vehicle here that don't have a driver and a shotgun, don't even move out. Go on back to the motor pool. This unit is moving out on a reconnaissance in force mission. Objective locate and dispose of enemy forces, and destroy or evacuate supplies and equipment. The Vietnamese interior has few large sweeping areas of clear flatlands, such as those which supported the swift U.S. armor advances through Europe in World War II. In this region, armor must often penetrate heavy jungle growth to reach its objective. Even when there is a road, there is always the danger of sudden ambush, a favorite tactic of the Viet Cong. With passage ahead disrupted by landmines, the VC pour a withering fire on U.S. armor vehicles and personnel. To meet this threat, the armor unit has taken its cue from America's pioneer days, when covered wagons were drawn into protective formation against attack from every direction. The enemy fire is returned by our forces with devastating effect. Often what begins as an all-out ambush to destroy U.S. armor ends in complete disaster for the enemy due to our superior armor firepower and unique maneuver techniques. Our military operations in Vietnam consist largely of this type of area warfare, where battles are fought in widely separated places with the enemy on every side. In this type of combat, armor operations are greatly aided by U.S. Army air support. Helicopters bring in badly needed supplies and ammunition. Air cavalry conveys vital intelligence to tank commanders concerning location and movement of enemy troops. Highly maneuverable, Today's armored forces are extremely flexible. Units can be grouped or regrouped quickly to meet the demands of the tactical situation.